Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And I know X99 is just around the corner, but Asus have just released their Republic of Gamers Maximus 7 Impact motherboard. So I thought I'd give you all a quick look. We will be doing the review very shortly, uh, but time is of the essence for us at the moment. So I thought I'd give you a quick teaser look because I know a lot of you were quite interested in this. Now, one of the things is, is it's obviously such a small board, so they've kind of gone upwards with it rather than outwards and you have a, a riser card for the the power side of things and you can see it says um, if I move it over so you can actually see maximum 7 impacts uh, enables ATX grade uh, full power stability and performance on mini ITX there's also uh, an add-on kind of upward sound card on there as well with the supreme FX chip and that's been really really good recently and like I said even though it is uh, small there's still a lot of features on here as well we've got uh, Intel Ethernet the LAN guard feature we've got a little add-on at the top for your wireless and your Bluetooth uh, and your N.2 slot as well they've crammed an awful lot into this and something I do like is uh, I got the 0011 oh yeah I do like it when they treat me like that anyway so we have the board itself nestled in there but we'll have a quick look at what it comes with and there is actually quite a lot like I said you've got the add-on PCI uh, PCI Express this is your wireless and your Bluetooth and your M.2 then we have the core they stick these things together well now this is your add-on sound card yes it is only small but at the end of the day this is going to be better than some of the old school audio that we would have had it's not focusing because it thinks this is a face there we go oh suits you when you get the clarity right so then what else do we get in here we've got uh this is just your um wireless and your bluetooth it is magnetic you can flick it around and it stands up then we've got uh sata cables oh what's this let's have a look SATA cables, you've got your manual in there and you also get uh, your driver disc as you would with everything really. Uh, this is, oh, what is this? Let's have a look. It's a riser card and then, what is in it? Oh, it's channel fans, look. I actually have not seen this because that's why I was having to look. It's a couple of fan headers. Impact cooling hub, nice. Okay, right, so we've seen that. I know you're all shouting at the screen, you just want to see the motherboard. So we bring the motherboard back into shot and we will dismantle the box and get it out. Here we go. So obviously it's ITX, it's 170 uh, millimeters by 170 millimeters or six, uh, 17 centimeters square. You get two uh, DDR3 dim slots. Notice I said DDR3 as well. 24 pin uh, power there and your 8 pin power there. It's actually, when you look at the layout of it, it's actually quite nice, especially for a MITX board, because a lot recently we've been getting uh, boards where you have like a slot, uh, sorry, power connections inbound. It just makes stuff untidy. Uh, so the fact that they've done this, we've even got a power switch on an ITX board. On board USB 3, four uh, SATA, six gigabit a second, proper PCI Express. This is where your add-on cards would go should you want to use them. We've got a vertical uh, CMOS battery here. Obviously this is your power board and you've got it. I can tell you that I know uh, Bits Power are producing a full cover block for this. And when I do the main review, it's one of the reasons why I've not jumped on it now. Uh, I am going to be doing it and that means that you, it calls the power board, it calls your CPU and it calls your chipset all in one and you only have one in and one out so it helps keep your, uh, your water cooling extra tidy. So that's all lovely, lovely bubbly. Around the back we have a full size display port, HDMI, uh, digital out and then we've actually got a nice funky back panel here really when you look at it. We've got the PCI um, poster for if you've got, uh, you're having like your problems, BIOS refresh, uh, the BIOS link. I don't know what the other two buttons are for. And there's not anything, oh, let's have a look. Uh, one's your key button, one's your sound stage. Crikey, they really have rammed this full of stuff. 
two USB 3s, two USB 2s, two more USB 2s, PS2, a lot of gamers still like this. Have to admit, I still use one from time to time as well. Two more USB 3s, and then obviously your Intel uh, Gigabit LAN, which has got your LAN port um, protector and everything on the back. I can't remember what they call it, but anyway. So there we are. It's a Z97 chipset, H50, uh, H50, what am I on about? 1150 um, socket, it's Devil's Canyon, that type of stuff, you know the way it is. And there you go. Just notice that that's screwed in there. That's actually one of the mounts for the board as well. How interesting. But I, uh, I really quite like this. It's itty bitty, but like I said, where they've not gonna have room, on the board, they've kind of sky-rised it. It's a bit like Tokyo. It's a Tokyo motherboard, there we go. But anyway, Asus Maximus Impact. We will be reviewing it shortly. Um, it probably might come after some of its bigger brother motherboards get done, because I don't think I'm gonna have the time to get this done before the uh, end of the month. But I will, uh, well, like I said, when I do, I will have that water block for you to take a look at as well. But anyway, for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video. Out.